Hey, what's going on, everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing awesome, actually. So today, welcome back to another video here on the channel where I'm going to be showing you guys five different nether portal designs that I think are pretty epic. And it's going to give you some awesome inspiration into the 1.16 update that is coming up. And you guys are going to be able to make your nether portals look super awesome. So this isn't the first nether portal design video that I did. I actually did one previous to this one. So if you want to go check out that one, there will be a eye up in the top right corner. Also a link down in the description. And if I get around to it, there will be a pinned comment below as well to, you know, link you back to that one and vice versa. So yeah, if you're interested in more nether portal designs besides the one I'll show you today. But yes, starting off with number one here. This one is probably pretty obvious to most of you, but I think it's a really cool idea to kind of implement nether portals into builds that we kind of already know and love. So this one I have here for you is basically like a gatehouse. Like it's, it's like a gatehouse castle entrance, but instead of going through it, you're going through into another dimension, which I think is pretty cool. I think that's actually a really neat idea. On the back side here, it's just kind of decorated just a little bit. Uh, I'm sure you could make this, you know, double sided, but this is just as an example here and just showing you. Uh, some of my favorite features about this design in particular is all the different colors that are implemented as well into this one. You have the yellow and blue flags and you have the little red uh, terracotta at the top there just to kind of brighten everything up. And it almost feels like a, a nice, entrance into a dark realm which now that i think about it doesn't really make sense hmm. anyway <laughs> still a pretty cool design there you go number one okay so this one's probably my favorite out of all of them number two it's really just oh it just has something special to it i don't know it's it's i love the organic nether portal designs when it's implemented into like the terrain and then you add like these little mushrooms at the top and then you just have all these different little elements that bring it all together and then right in the middle, you have a little nether portal, which just blends in so well. It just feels so cool. So right over here, we have these just different mushrooms. And I love these mushrooms, by the way. I think they look so cool. We have like smooth sandstone as like the inside of the mushroom there. So I think that works really perfectly for making a miniature mushroom design. Then we have the bone blocks as the stem. And then we're using concrete uh, for the top of the mushroom. And then this little base here is basically just almost how you do just regular terrain. It's just some uh, grass at the top here with some foliage, core stirred into that, and then blending that into the stone here, the stone base. And then at the front, of course, we have our nether portal design, which I think is so everything just comes together so nicely. So this is a very simple idea, but it works so effectively, just blending the nether portal into the surrounding terrain or building up something like this to make it seem like, hey, the nether portal kind of mysteriously um, went into the terrain or that's where it kind of settled in. It's it's a very eerie kind of feeling, but also kind of cool as well. Number three. Now this one is just amazing. I, 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 I love all the designs, okay? Don't get me wrong, but like each one has like their own unique thing. And this one, well, I think we can easily see it is that it's, well, floating <laughs> on an island, which is, I think is awesome. I love this little like just island design. You just have a little tiny miniature floating island with another portal on top or any kind of building. Uh, it just makes it look that much more epic and it really does fit very well. Now, as for the structure on top of the floating island, we have this like almost nether fortress vibe and i have this like i guess i think it's magenta terracotta i'm not sure but it is an awesome block and it goes really well with the nether brick i think and it just all blends really nicely and in the front here we have the magma block just to kind of break it up a little bit just add a different texture there and we also have it in the corners as well surrounded by trap doors and yeah all this all this looks super well blend it and everything it just really comes together and uh, with the stone at the bottom here with the island and everything, we just sort of have it randomized with diff using different stone slabs and different things like that. Uh, you could add an anisite on the bottom here. Uh, and again, we're just using that technique where we just blend the grass and then we go into coarse dirt and then we have a little bit of stone at the bottom. 
came up for up here, we're just blending this to match with the nether portal a little bit, because if grass just went all the way up to here, it almost looks like the nether is coming through the portal. As you would go through and raid the nether, the nether is coming through and raiding your world. That would be a really cool feature in Minecraft that it actually like infect it. Like you built a nether portal and then the nether started coming through the portal and started infecting your world. That would be really cool. So this one is awesome as well. I, I mean, I know I'm saying that about every design, but come on, it's pretty cool. I, I, I tend to forget about the designs that are coming up. So that's why I always say like, oh, right. This is also kind of my favorite as well. They're all my favorite. They're all so cool. Uh, but yeah, so this one right here, is inspired off of white fire i should say and uh because he is in his hardcore world he built a nether portal inside of a tree stump which i thought was really really cool and what he did differently though is is that he made like an infection coming out of the nether portal as we were just previously talking about and it was like infecting the outside of the tree the tree stump or whatever um this one I've done a little bit differently though i've made a magical sort of essence coming out of the top of the tree stump uh, to give it sort of a different vibe because typically when you look at the top of a tree stump It's usually just the, the cut, it, you know, the cut off part it you know, it's just, just cut off This though, I'm adding a magical essence that's coming out of the nether portal itself, which I think Really 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 cool. and I love it. I really love it. So Yeah, if we just take a look here, you can see we're just using a mixture of I believe purple and magenta magenta glass and just having like these little Enrods and all that stuff just to create this nice little magically kind of nether portal design this enchanted almost nether portal design that you can fit perfectly maybe within like a dark oak forest or something like that or just in your base you know if you just need a little ideas and it, and it could be much bigger than this obviously this is just giving you guys an idea here i just added these nice little purple flowers and pots just all the way around with this nice you know, greenery just to kind of contrast with that purple a little bit. And I think that really does look good. I think it really just everything ties in well, looks super, super nice. So this is just another little idea for you. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. So the final design that I have here in terms of the nether portals and all that stuff, it's been really exciting. All these nether portals have really just kind of, you know, developed their own little theme and just had their own different style. Whereas the first, you know, video I did, and you know, it's not the bash the first video that I did, but they all were sort of just structured based. These different have like different na nature elements. These have different ideas and concepts that you can do behind the nether portal itself. But for this last one that we have here, we have the nether, again, infecting the actual structure. So it's like coming out of the portal. It's, you know, it's infecting the blocks that are around it. And actually, it's made a little scene up here. So this is inspired off of the Afterlife Town Hall, which I built on Afterlife. And uh, it is, you know, we have that same sort of effect in our nether room in the town hall. It'd be, there's a scene, a little nether scene above the nether portal in the town hall. And uh, it shows like a miniature version of the nether. And uh, so, and we also have like the blocks are infecting, they're coming out of the nether portal and infecting the blocks around. So, which I think is really just an awesome idea. I love that idea. And it's a great way of just making a nether portal feel almost in its own environment. Because you gotta remember the nether portal is such a dark uh, figure, a dark presence that it needs that sort of dark uh, blocks and different things that kind of eerie feeling around it to really make it fit well into the world. But doing things like this, really make it shine and i love this design because it just has so much to it it just there's so much to look at here you have the lava flowing down you have the big nether portal you have the the, the scene at the top so and of course you can dress this up this is meant this is a design that's meant to fit inside of a bigger build or just in like the side of a mountain or something like just kind of cool like that so but yeah all these designs are super super awesome i think they all just came together in their own little element here and I just absolutely love them. I just, ah, well, I, I hope you guys love them as well because I really loved working on them. I really liked making a part two to my first video and just kind of uh, making that extension and just coming up with some more 
designs and different things like that. Uh, trying to be a little bit unique with different things because I know it's hard to, you know, just fall. It's You can almost just fall into the same pattern of just building like the same nether portal design. But sometimes it's fun to just experiment and just see what there what else is there right so uh again hopefully you guys enjoyed them uh if you want to check it out if you want to check out my old video that i did of nether portals there will be an eye in the top right corner for sure so you want to go check that out uh right away right after this video go check it out and uh yeah that's gonna do it as always guys don't forget to be awesome and i will see you guys next time